Hello everyone, this is Mr. Alberoman here, and today I'm here for a breakdown of Bakugo. Finally, definitely due to popular requests, but I'm so glad I finally did it because he's so much fun. Um, I would definitely say he's a, I don't know, what do you call it? A ridiculous, spastic character, you just go crazy. It, playing him totally suits your personality. You just get so angry and throw out buttons. And just are ridiculous and throw out buttons and just make the opponent deal with what you have to do. He's just really fun. Anyways, let's get into his buttons. His regular attack string is a four hitting attack string with a massive gap in between the third and fourth hit that can definitely be interrupted. But it does decent damage, and you but you'll usually combo off the second or third hit. His air combo string is one hit. That's it. <laughs> He does this explosion where he launches towards you and hits you in the ground, but it can be cancelled into other quirk buttons or anything, so it's actually really good. Even though it looks kind of stupid just being one little buff on the head, it can lead to a big lot, like that wall splat that happens super easily. Um, his yellow attack on the ground just sends them flying away. You can't really get anything off of it unless you cancel the first hit. So you can combo into it if you do the first attack, and then uh, cancel the first part of it. But you're not really ever going to get anything off of the second attack unless it's a plus ultra. In the air, it actually leads to a bounce, so you can go into this and then cancel into other quirk buttons. So it can be good that way. Get even more damage from his air attack, and go into the yellow one. Um, his red attack is is pretty average. It's decently speed and decently ranged. It has about average range from about here, and you know it's pretty good. Does it gets the job done, and you can combo off of it like all the good red moves should be able to. His quirk one is this mashing explosion move. You can press it as many times as you like and he'll just keep doing explosions in front of them. This is a really fun move. Like, Obviously you can use it in combos as well to extend combos. But you can also just use it if you're against a, like, a really crazy opponent that just likes to keep doing like this. I'm sure you've faced people that just like you know, keep oh, dash in, oh I got hit, oh, okay, I'll just keep dashing in and I'll just keep jumping in the air and dashing in. You just throw out this move and they're just going to keep running into it and keep getting hit by explosions. It's actually really fun to see how people react to you doing this. Um, it actually beats a lot of yellow attacks as well, because as you can see he retreats a bit when he does it, so the yellow attack will miss and then you've done a ton of damage to the person trying to do a yellow attack, because they keep moving into it, so it's really good for that. And it works basically the same in the air as it does on the ground. And you can combo into it and out of it with other quirk buttons. So if I press my attack in the air and then press quirk one, he'll like dash forward automatically and go into it. So you don't even need to dash cancel, which is really good. So I can go attack into quirk one and then press it a bunch of times and then into his quirk two, which we'll get to. And that's what you're usually going to be doing in the air to get easy high damage. And you can do the same on the ground, two attacks into this, into his quirk 2, and then you do the same in the air, attack into quirk 1, into quirk 2, and then you get easy damage up. So yeah, this is just a really good move, it's very Bakugo-like, just tons of explosions, just make a bunch of explosions, a bunch of damage, it's really good. Um, his tilt quirk 1 is also a really good move, I'd say it's actually one of his best moves, it really complements like something that he'd be lacking if he didn't have it. It's this big explosion, like ricochet, it used to be his charge, um, uh, quirk 1 in One's Justice 1, but now he just has it automatically as his tilt quirk 1. It does a lot of damage, and it reaches really far, and it goes actually really fast across the screen. So a lot of the time when the opponent's running around like, this, like they do, because they're idiots, it actually catches a lot of people. Hello? Oh, he's just going in the circle, isn't he? But it actually catches a lot of people trying to dash or sidestep or even jump over it. Oh my god, this really hurts. And people trying to jump over you or do other like crazy things, it actually catches a lot of people. If you sidestep it hits them as well. Even if only like one hit hits, it just makes people respect you. 
And sometimes you'll see I like try to. It seems like I'm spamming this sometimes, but a lot of people just really disrespect Bakugo because they don't think he has any projectiles. You need to throw this out sometimes just to make sure people realize, hey, you have to deal with my stuff. I'm not, I'm not bare from this distance. I'm gonna throw this at you so many times you're gonna get sick of it. Um, it's also really good on block. So if I do this into this, you can't avoid that, and you've just taken half of your guard pressure. And if it does guard break like the other hits you don't connect so you actually just get to easily go in for a full combo so no matter how much guard press you have if you throw that out and it breaks you you're gonna easily get a combo so yeah it's really good for breaking guard and going in for his combos um, and it's also completely safe on block. So if you see there ever block, all you want to do is go into into the, into this. You just always will want to go into this because it's, it's just good. So like, why would you do anything else? You react to them blocking, still block one every time. And it can also can sometimes wall splat, and that just helps. You know, if when you're throwing it out, you just have the chance of getting a wall splat. You can react to it and get something nice off of it. Oh, that was a lot of damage for an easy attack that just caught them off guard. And it's the same in the air, so you know, if you're dashing around, you can throw this out to catch them off guard. And also has really good tracking, so if in the air, they're in the air or like really high, he's not just going to do it straight ahead, he will do it into the air. So it's actually, he makes sure to, he makes sure to throw it at the opponent, unlike some people. Okay, his quirk 2 is this big like explosion blast thing that you use in a lot of combos because it does a lot of damage and it's also really good for wall splats. So you want to end everything in this just to hope that it will get to wall splat but it does a lot of damage anyway so you're going to end it either way. Its damage can vary like if I do two hits into it it itself will like hit sometimes it, sometimes it hits just once sometimes it hits like three times it just it, sometimes it's down to luck. But see, like when I do it like that, it does a lot of damage. But you just want to use it either way, because either way is still really good damage, and you can get a wall splatter for practically anything. So yeah. It's a really good move, and you always are doing it off of your quirk 1, like your quirk 1 mashing into quirk 2, and you can dash cancel it to go for extended cover. So like jump into quirk 1, into quirk 2, into, into quirk 1. Uh, so, into, so after the quirk 2 you dash cancel, so attack, quirk 1 mash, quirk 2 dash, quirk 1, quirk 2, and then you've done easy damage from the air and probably got a wall splat and you can do it all over again. So yeah, it's basically just a really good move. Also it's something that I just like to throw out at neutral, it breaks projectiles which is really good, and it's out for quite a while so if the opponent runs into it then they're just getting smacked away for trying to get in. And yeah. It's kind of like Todoroki's wall in that sense, I just like to throw it up sometimes. His tilt quirk 2 is this grab attack that just throws the opponent in the direction. You can dash cancel it after if you want. So I, if I'm ever tumbling into it, I do two attacks into quirk 1. You can dash cancel into, into your, your classic stuff. And you can get pretty good damage off of it that way. That's actually the main way that I like to do combos with Bakugo. But I actually like to use... Oh, something I forgot to mention with his Quirk 1, guys, is if you hold the button down, you go close. And then he has a new button. He has his charged version, which is this. He puts out this like little explosion, like fire cloud, and then it explodes when it goes a certain distance. And why I'm bringing that up now is because usually when I combo in using his quirk 2, I hold down the quirk 1 button and then throw that out, and then that's really good damage. And you can dash cancel after it to do one of his like biggest damage combos that I like to do. Messed it up. Obviously, that's what I do. One more try. I didn't even get the dash cancel that time. 
And that didn't combo, sorry. Hello? Oh my goodness. Anyways, I'll get to that in the combo segment. But it's a really good combo starter, and if you hold it down, it goes down into a red attack. And in the air, it is practically the same thing, except you get meterless combos off of it. So if you ever catch someone with the, like, the armored, the red version, you can just go into normal attacks and then go into your whole explosion -y thing. Attack, work one, work two, wall splat, attack, work ones, work two, and you get easy damage off of it. And you can also, also combo into it from the air, if you do attack, tilt attack, grab, and you can get combos that way. But that also increases the, um, the wall splat likeliness. I mean, the, not the wall splat, the meteor blow likeliness. <laughs> okay, so for Bakugo's combos, he has a lot of combo freedom. You can do anything into a different explosion and you'll get some sort of decent damage but I'll show you what you can do to get usually the most damage with Bakugo and he has different level of difficulties of combos so what I what I use as a BNB is probably one of his more difficult combos but it does a lot of damage so if I do two attacks into one explosion into the grab and I hold down quirk one throw that oops and then I dash cancel and then do the air combo which is attack into quirk ones into quirk two but it looks something like this. Oopsie. And that does almost 10,000 damage, and it doesn't meteor blow, so that you're really likely to get a um. Wall splat if you're facing a combo, just like I just did. Um, some of you can like do fancy combos, like if you do into the armor attack and then into this and then into some of these. But then you're really likely to get a meteor blow during a combo, and Bakugo doesn't want that because then, like, because you usually end your combos with Quark two, it limits your ability to. If you have a meteor blow, you never want to be using a meteor blow with Bakugo unless you're completely done with your combo because he can get super easy wall splats. So you're just wasting damage if you get a meteor blow before you get a wall splat. So yeah, the basic combo, I'll show it again. Two hits, one explosion, into the tilt... Oh, oops. No, I need to throw that out. So, two hits, quirk one, into tilt quirk two. And then while you're in the tilt quirk two, you hold quirk one. And then quirk one, dash cancel. One, quirk one. Quark 2, oops, I did the Quark 2 a bit late there, so it completely missed. Oh yeah, and if you do the Quark 1s a bit too early, they will completely whiff, so be careful about that. Yeah, so this combo is a bit hard to do in some ways. There we go, that did it closer to 10,000 damage, and if I was slightly closer to the wall then I would have definitely gotten the wall splat. Um, as you saw then, um, Nomo is on recovery, and after this grab into the um, charged quirk one, the enemy is in a full state and they can't recover from it, so you can actually, if you want to be really fancy with your combos and do more damage for cheaper, you can technically, after you get this into this, you can run forward into an attack for free, but I find it far too difficult to hit consistently. I'll try to do it in the video, but... Well, close. There we go. You saw it there. I did it. If I finished it, it would have done about 10,000 damage, or a bit over 10,000 damage. I accidentally did the dash cancel there. But yeah, if you if you want, you can try and make your combo a little bit more extended by running up, doing attack into this, 
There we go. Yeah, 10,200 damage and you can still get a wall splat. So you can make your combos really fancy and really hard. That's probably the hardest way you can do your combos. Is by after you do the tilt quirk 2 into quirk, charged quirk 1. Instead of dash cancelling, you just run up and try and time your attack perfectly. But I almost never try to attempt that online. And I've labbed it quite a bit. It's just too hard to get consistently. Yeah. But you can if you want. It does a lot of damage. So by no means am I convincing you to not do it. Try it. Try it. It's fun. Um, if the combo, this combo, is proving a bit too hard for you to do, like online, not that one, but like this one, which is a bit easier. Oops, which I like to mess up, even when I'm recording. I'm gonna dash cancel. But yeah, if this one here is proving a bit hard to do online, he does have simpler combos that you can do. Um, and that involves, you can just do dash cancel from the tilt attack, so you can go 1, 2, explosion, into the quirk, tilt quirk 2, and then dash cancel after that. And that still gets pretty decent damage, 9,800. Actually, is that more than it did with the... No, that, that does it. Wait. Oh, he messed it up. Oh, in the way. Oh yeah, so it does do a bit less damage. So if you do do the version with the charged quirk one, that does more damage, but it still does really good damage if you just go attack, attack, quirk one, into tilt quirk two, and then dash cancel from that, and then go into the air combo, and that still does pretty good damage, and it's quite a bit easier, it's easier to do. Um, and if you want it even more easy, you can go two hits into a bunch of quirk ones, I suggest until it goes to about eight hits, and then cancel into quirk two, and then dash cancel from that. So. Oops. And that does decent damage as well. Obviously it's a bit less since it's a bit easier. But you know, sometimes I resort to doing this combo online, like if it's laggy or something, it's a lot easier to do. And you can get a lot easier assured damage. You just want to make sure, because you're messing up timing to go attack, attack into this. There's a lot of time, even I, if it's like laggy or something, I don't manage to actually connect the two hits into the quirk 2 and it does something like this and then it resets so yeah sometimes I like to just stick to simple combos like this yeah um you can make it super easy I guess if you do three hits into the quirk 2 and then dash cancel and do this but I don't really see why you would do that that's just getting this combo here is quite easy I would recommend sticking with that and getting the like 8,900 or whatever it is. Because that's still pretty decent damage. But yeah, the BNB, I'll show it one more time. Explosion. Lots of explosions, does about 10,000 damage, and you can get a wall splat. Because it doesn't need to blow, that's the main part. So you can get lots of damage, 10,000. Bit over 10,000 if I did it a bit better there and then allowed more of this to hit. Um, so yeah, that's basically Bakugo's combos. If you start in the air, you essentially just do the same thing multiple times. So you just move this into quirk ones. Oops, that was too many. Yeah, I definitely recommend trying out Bakugo in training mode before you go online. Because it takes a lot of practice knowing like how many quirk ones you should do. Before you go into Quark 2 and all that kind of technical stuff is really good to know before you go online. And obviously you can try and make it fancy by going into like with this. But that leads to a lot faster of a meteor blow, so I don't recommend doing that too often. If you are in like high in the air and you know you're against the mirror that likes to keep pressing or um 
what's his name, Gran Torino that's in the air and you need to do an armor attack in the air to counter him. If you get a counter attack, I recommend cancelling it into his grab and then, um, then just into a regular attack. So tilt attack, tilt part two, right. Into attack, and then into this air sequence. And that'll get you pretty decent damage, and you can dash cancel as well to make it even longer. Um, okay, now with Bakugo's plus Ultra 1, he can combo off of basically any of the combos because he can do it in the air. So that makes it really easy for him to- oh look, I messed that combo up just then. So just cancel it after his quirk 2 or whatever in the air. And you add combo, and it, it's even good at wall splatting. So yeah, you can get lots of damage, super easy. Just add it to the end of your combo if you realize you have a um, enough for a plus ultra. And then just get super easy damage. And just, uh, yeah, add a big chunk to your combos. And obviously you can do it off the ground as well. What the heck? Now, um, just a side note, if you have a support like Aizawa or Jiro, it's really easy to combo off of his... off of his plus ultra one just by, like, using them and calling them out. But since I like to use teams that make... that I like, like Bakugo with Kirishima and Kaminari, so... I tried to find something that works with them, and I found if you do the plus ultra when the opponent's in the air, the opponent can recover. So I have no more on recover, and you see before he hits the ground, he can recover. But if I do a combo that keeps him on the ground before I hit him with a plus ultra, you'll notice he, whoa, he can't recover before he hits the ground. And that, I found, makes it super easy. I can just bring out Kaminari, and he easily connects from any point in the map, because they bounce off the wall, they get sent flying so far. So I go two attacks, it's a bunch of the quirk ones. Plus Ultra 1. Call out Kaminari. Run forward. Oh, that was unlucky. I'll try again. What the heck? This was working perfectly before, I'm sorry. Give him calling Kaminari too early. Whoa. No, why isn't this working? It was working before. Try and call him earlier. What the heck? Why? 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 It's it's working. That's so rude. He's working super consistently just before. There. And that accidentally reset, but you can get about like 16,000 damage off of this. I don't know why it's not working now. It's just because I'm recording, isn't it? There we go. That wasn't optimal, but I still got 13,000, and he was going to be wall splat if he got, went flying any further. So basically, strategies with his plus ultra 1, if you know you're facing a wall like I am now, you're better off just cancelling straight into it and leaving it, not wasting your support, because it'll wall splat super easy, and you can get easy damage that way. But if you're facing any direction other than wall, like even in a corner, it works pretty consistently, except for when I'm recording. Like, it was almost constant for me when I was in practice mode. But you just keep them on the ground, and then call out Kaminari, and they'll bounce into his support. What? That is so rude! I don't understand! And I messed it up a bit there, but it would do about like 17,000 or 14,000 damage. So, yeah, that's a really consistent way. If you're not facing a wall and you don't have an Aizawa support, because I don't like using Aizawa for no reason, you can use Kaminari. Oops, I called him out a bit, but definitely late there. But yeah, that's basically 
what I'm trying to get at is Kaminari can be a really good combo extender for Bakugo. Oh, if you don't suck like me, this is so sad. I did it that one time though, and it's usually consistent. I think maybe I'm just bringing him out late. Yeah, whatever. It works most of the time unless you're recording. And that's basically combos with Bakugo. Like, if you get his red attack, you just go into the same combos. Just make sure you're going into this situation a lot. And not doing too overextended or fancy combos, or else you'll miss out on your wall splat. And then, if you miss out on your wall splat, you're missing out on a lot of damage. See, that was a super easy combo, no dash cancel, and it did like 8,500 damage. And it wasn't even like a proper combo, it was just a random thing in the air. So, yeah, and he has multiple, like I was saying, multiple degrees of difficulties with his combo, so you can either do this one, or you can put in his grab. For even more damage, or you can make it even more damaging by adding the charge to work one in after the grab. And get about 10,000 damage. And if I was facing a bit better angle, you'd get an easy wall splat from that. So that, I think, concludes our Bakugo video. He has really, really interesting combos. He's really fun, really hella crazy. He plays like an absolute psychopath in the right hand, and I think that's how he's supposed to be played. You make sure you are doing tons of, tons of explosions, scaring your opponent. He has a really fast run speed, so you can run around and then run in and attack them. And then just make sure you scare them with your like big combos and explosions, so that they have no idea what to do to fight you. Okay, I wouldn't recommend doing that combo in the puzzle to do, that did like nothing. But yeah, make sure, see look at his really fast run speed, he can run around really well, dash in, pop you on the head with his attack, go into this, you're gonna be wall splat almost every time, so they're gonna be super scared of getting hit, you run around, do his tilt work one, just make sure they are always scared of you, they can never just like, be running around willy nilly doing cheap stuff, because you have to make sure you are doing all of your explosions, if they're charging in, just keep doing quirk ones, see how they react to that. Charge in, do some mix-ups, charge his red attack like that. That's something that you can do a lot, because a lot of the time I'm going to be going into this, because that's safe, and breaks block like I was showing before. Um, so you can cancel into the red attack. And you can always add a big chunk of damage by adding his plus ultra 1. Anyways guys, that's Bakugo in a nutshell, I hope you really enjoyed, and everyone that was requesting him, I hope this is what you expected, and I'm glad you requested him, he's really fun. Anyways guys, thanks, and I'll see you in the next one. He's really fun. Anyways guys, thanks, and I'll see you in the next one.